hello guys welcome back to my channel uh, today I'm doing the part 2 of my entire fragrance collection and uh, today I'm going to speak about some of my other fragrances that are kind of old kind of not so old mixed fragrances in here um, so like uh, my first video I'm not going to give a lot of attention to each fragrance just gonna give you a general impression that I have of the impression of the fragrance so um, let's go uh, I'm gonna start from here this corner this is white linen by Estee Lauder this is a very uh, not so light not so strong like a medium soft powdery floral fragrance um, <clears throat> Some people might think it's old-timey, like old lady style fragrances, um, but um, I don't mind it. it. In the beginning it does smell like that, but later on it softens very nicely, very um, alluring fragrance. Next I have here is Derek Lamb's 10 Crosby. Uh, I think this is Silent Street if I'm not wrong. This is very musky musky fragrance yes soft musky fragrance not much floral i smell in here it's a magnetic closure um, so yeah one second let me make sure i'm saying the name correctly yeah i still have the box here yeah silent street edp 50 ml so uh, yeah it's very soft and clean perfect for office class kind of environment uh, nice fragrance next I have this is Vince Camuto's Femme just Femme Vince Camuto Femme fragrance it comes in a like a purplish packaging if you can tell it has a slight purplish tone to the bottle um, this is uh, also a clean fresh fragrance but with the slight sharpness to it a floral kind of floral sharpness uh, spicy touch touch spiciness so but mostly like a sharp clean fragrance to my nose uh, next I have everybody knows DKNY Donna Karen Cash <coughs> Cashmere sorry about my bad voice I'm losing my voice I had a, a bit of irritation this morning um, so anyways everybody knows this is very soft powdery um, wintery kind of fragrance now, i would i think it's winter like i mean in summer this might get a little cloying i think even though it's powdery but um i don't know i think it's it's more uh, appropriate for warmer and uh, fall kind of weather i'm sorry cold cold and fall kind of weather uh, i haven't worn it much i'm thinking of giving it to my mom because I know she would love this so that's that here I have Burberry Sheer Burberry I don't know what the full name is Burberry Brit Sheer yes so I still have some of the boxes here I took them all out of their boxes so I could um, make the video uh, because mostly uh, you know in the beginning I used to buy fragrances and uh, I would just throw away the boxes but then I learned slowly that uh, the fragrances last longer in their boxes in a cold dark place so I started saving the boxes and so they're gonna go back in their boxes and into my closet um, so also another reason because I don't go through the bottles fast because I have so many uh, I try to keep them in boxes so they can last longer so Burberry Bridge Sheer is very, very um, light, 
uh, summer appropriate fragrance soapy yes light soapy uh, fresh fragrance that's what this is I really really like it in summer uh, oops so the next one here is Parada Milano Diaris everybody knows I love this fragrance I mean, if, uh, if you've been watching my videos, you know, um, Infusion Diaries, sorry. Um, I have gone through one bottle and this is um, one of my backup bottles. I actually, I keep one in my closet, one in, on my uh, display and I, I, I use both. And the other one almost ran out in my, you might have seen in my other video. Um, so this one is, I would say one fourth gone very powdery elegant fragrance that one here i have the traveler by francesca i spoke about francesca fragrances in my first video and uh, this uh, this line by francesca has i think four fragrances four or five um, this is called the traveler to my nose this is very like a strong sp spicy fruity spicy fruity spicy fragrance um the francesca is mostly targeted for i think like teenage girls to like uh, in their 40s that kind of age range i think because i see all sorts of age groups living in there and um, so i'm picking the fragrances now so i'm targeted for that age group this one uh actually about three fragrances the other two are more soft to floral and fruity and my daughter likes them she got those like on this one she tried this one she got it for her and yeah this is um this is Chanel the original Chanel I don't know if it has a name yeah that's peculiar Chanel fragrance this one is slightly sharper than the uh, other other Chanel chance fragrances um, and this lasts longer too slightly stronger sharper and lasts longer than the other chance fragrances um, I like it for I, I mostly wear it for like formal kind of setting I don't wear it casually another Chanel Allure uh, this is EDT yeah this is EDT uh, I thought the EDP was too strong I could not like stand that I thought I'm gonna get a headache I tested it in the store and um, I thought it was too strong and then I sprayed this one and I thought oh, th this is nice this is like softer same thing but softer and um, I have worn it and I have gotten compliments and this is really really elegant that's the word comes to my head most of the Chanel fragrances I think are elegant uh, not all but most so this is a lower really tea Uh, this is Burberry What is this called? Burberry London Yeah, this has the signature plaid fabric sleeve on it uh, I have not worn this much either as you can tell maybe um, This is also similar. I think this is in the similar vein as this Chanel chance They are both kind of strong sharp not casual wear kind of fragrances formal elegant all that stuff but yet they're different from each other Chanel, ha uh, Chanel has a Chanel quality to it and this one has the Burberry quality to it the Burberry quality has I think a touch of uh, should I say it? stronger floral and uh, touch spiciness to it that's what I think Okay, next I have Victoria's Secret Crush. Um, I really like the bottle. Uh, this one I wear in spring and summer. It has fruity floral quality to it. Uh, um, sometimes my automizer doesn't work. 
I think you're supposed to move this ball a certain way and then spray it and then it works. I I have used some but I still not I'm still not good at using this atomizer. Okay anyways. Next is uh, our Lysian from L'Occitane. If you can read. Okay, this one has this is so appropriate for fall. It has a like a potpourri kind of vibe to it uh, while being slightly fruity. Yeah, so like dried flowers and and fruit mixed. Yeah, I and, and also in the in the top notes I get a little soapiness also. So I really really like it for fall. It, it's green yet has a touch of fall to it. You know the dry the, the flower petals. I think give, give it that touch. I don't know. That's what it comes to my head. Here is another Chanel Coco Noir. Uh, this is like a close sister of the Chanel Coco, uh, th but this has more like a yeah stronger and it it's it's appropriate for like a night out kind of a setting or uh, I think at a formal gathering it would be good. Uh, yes, I use it for formal gatherings mostly. And that's Coco Noir. And this is Miss Dior by Dior Blooming Bouquet. Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. Uh, I like this one better than the, the original PDP. Uh, this is mostly floral and like has a softer quality to it. Uh, I don't know how to explain this specific kind of floral, but I think it's a tasteful floral, <laughs> if that makes any sense. This is uh, by Dolce Gabbana, three Liam, I don't know how to say this, Liam Patrice, Liam Patrice, I don't know, I'm sorry guys for butchering the name. Um, this is a straight up uh, tropical melon. Um, well, what I smell is like a guava note. <laughs> I don't know if there's guava in it. Uh, I smell guava. Uh, if you have uh, eaten like fresh um, ripe guava, you would know what I mean. Um, it gives me that vibe to it. Uh, so very appropriate for spring summer I have not worn it as much yet but I, I really do like it here is Molecule 01 I was uh, this was in my part 1 collection video but I somehow forgot to mention it so everybody knows what this smells like it, it's supposed to have a cedar note in it uh, and mostly just one this molecule iso e super and um, I, I like it uh, on other people because me and my husband we both share this I like it on him and uh, I, I have uh, of course I've used it too and I have smelled it on my like a uh, top or scarf later on uh, after I had worn it but I did not smell it on me while I was wearing it so uh, it's just here I think I should just give it to my husband he can finish this I am not a big fan of this even though I like it on other people I myself don't like it as much this is coach the regular coach is not the poppy line uh, it has this nice touch like the coach bags I like that's very cute um, and the signature coach embossed here uh, this fragrance is very fruity and 
yeah fruity mostly in a citrusy way uh, i liked it very much at the, in the store but later on i i heard my daughter complaining that it's too strong and cloying and too she said it was too young for me <laughs> so um, i i i think i i can see why she said that and i do find it a bit cloying so if she doesn't mind it i think i'm going to give this to her but otherwise it's just sitting here i'm not using it okay this is versace versace by versace um this is a very uh, yes you can say from uh, from the color kind of greenish fragrance but has a citrusy quality to it um i used to have the other chanel chance of fresh and it um, also has similar green color and i think it's in the same way this one is also in the same way and they're both very close to each other but of course that one will have the chanel quality to it this one is just fresh green floral i like this one better than that one to my nose this is like a cleaner cleaner with minus the chanel um signature fragrance from it and add the the cleanness that's what this is to me i really like it here is chanel chance or tendre i i i'm a big fan of this fragrance i like this one better than the original original chance um uh, this is very soft and uh, elegant fresh floral and uh, and it has slightly powderiness powderiness to it yeah but not very strong mostly soft floral yeah fresh soft soft floral yep yeah. i'm running short of words guys to explain i keep saying same things over and over again um uh, i guess that's what they smell like to me this is amazing grace uh, it's the original amazing grace uh i also like living grace and i also like the um, the grace rose i don't know what the real name is but it has rose in it i like that one too this one just regular and it's very clean and laundry like friend uh, smell so um i wear it like you know one of those very inoffensive kind of fragrances you want to wear you know like a doctor's office or class or uh, some kind of office setting so this is one of those fragrances i i do like it here i have dickin white women uh this is the original i think it's the original dickin why those one of those uh, tall building kind of fragrances she came up with years ago and i have unboxed the uh, fruity version of this in one of my other videos and this is the original one this is like a um, spring summery citrusy floral fragrance yep i smell citrus as like the main note and i enjoy wearing it in spring and summer here are some boxes guys um why are they in their boxes still <laughs> there are weird reasons uh this one i just like it the way it looks in the box this is a gap fragrance uh it's 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 called stay if you can catch the name stay uh it it's just a clean shampoo after shower that kind of fragrance very clean and uh, fresh clean fresh shampooy like fragrance to me uh this one is in its box also because i like the box it's toka julieta look how cute this is there's a little story about the fragrance uh, the inspiration for the fragrance i guess um and i really like it the fragrance is uh, like a soft powdery i think i'm i'm not sure floral at the same time here is a kiko kiko uh, i don't see their stores anymore i don't know if they're still around they are like this uh, makeup kind of store like mac and uh, nyx and um elf those kind of stores so i saw this 
couple of years ago or maybe more four years ago or five I don't know it's called water and innocence they had it around like the holiday season and it has this fragrance in there with the little charm thing like a Christmas charm it's a snowflake um, it's it's a clean kind of fragrance I think I am not a big fan of it that's why it's still in its box and I think I'm thinking of giving gifting it to somebody that's why it's still in its box so it would look nice if I save the box to give to somebody uh, these two fragrances here I ordered them after I read the reviews on Fragrantica and I thought I might like them but I really don't this is Love Chloe EDP they I don't think they make this anymore uh, this is the one with the, the, the signature hanging chain the chain thingy as you can tell I hardly wore it I do not really like this fragrance uh, it's too dry that's the word comes to my head it's too dry I haven't tried it layering it with a floral maybe it will be nice I don't know so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that maybe I'm gonna gift it to somebody here is a uh, Vivian Westwood's Naughty Alice uh, same thing I read the review I thought it might be something I would like but I really don't has a nice bottle with this charm charm thingy and uh, yeah I don't like it uh, I might gift it or I don't know I still have the the charm plastic thing covering it okay so that's my part two fragrance collection video guys um, so I'll see you in the next part of my fragrance collection. Take care and bye-bye.